All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for another tournament, Masters Edition. And very first hole, gonna get started here. Let's see what we have. Um, what, what it looks like they're giving us is Tailwind. And typically what you'll want to do here is probably try to go for this a little bit. So there's kind of two ways to make that happen. Let's see, I'm maybe using six bars of top spin. I'm thinking about that many rings. Just see how this looks. Let's see, I'm trying to do a hook slice shot. And it looks like a little bit underplayed there. What I'll typically try to do is try to hit the upslope there. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can either try hook slicing or if the wind's just a little bit too angled, which it looks like mine is, I have to just kind of change the spin a little bit. So you can see opponent there going a little bit more aggressively top spin. I would imagine you may want to even go up to a ghost ball. Uh, another thing is the more right you go, the higher ground you put the ball. So what you'll see is the ball actually carrying a little bit farther, the more right you're able to put it. Now, um, typically what you'll see with the last couple tournaments here, uh, my wind seemed just a little bit more angled, but um, you'll see that guys are able to actually hop it off this fairway, skip it, and potentially get it to the green in one, and even get a hole in one, um, if done just perfectly. So that's more or less what you'd like to see happen. Now, let's take a look at where I am. I feel maybe I'm kind of in three-something per ring territory. I'm going to try to get this ball guide over as far as possible and play an offset. And then, in addition, I'm going to play almost three per ring. Got a perfect... Looks like I may have over-adjusted that. Yep, it's not nearly three per ring as much as I would have liked it to be. It was probably a little bit closer to maybe four, four and a half per ring there. So if you get to a similar spot, um, you know, it looked like I was almost a little bit more in the valley. It, it's kind of a funny, funny thing there because if I am a little bit more to the right, that plays significantly downhill. You can see it almost played uphill with the way that, that wind was. So you just really got to kind of be kind of very careful with where your ball winds up because there's some bunkers over there to the right and they play significantly downhill. And even you can see where my opponent is, this would play way downhill and you'd have to kind of account for that. Whereas the shot that I played, it seemed to definitely play uphill uh, a great deal. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, you know, good luck with that hole. Hopefully, you're able to get just enough angle in that wind to be able to do that. You may want to try to revert away from the hook slice there just to maybe try to keep just a little bit more launch on that. So for my next guide, I'm probably going to try uh, to do a similar shot without the hook slice, and we'll just go for kind of like a perfect ball timing and see if we can't get uh, a little bit more favorable outcome. Because one of the things that you'll notice, the more right that you put it, the more that that wind actually becomes straight to the side. So if you can come in on the aim a bit and keep it a little bit more downwind, you'll see that it typically launches a little bit farther, might give us a little bit better outcome. But again, it's going to come down to wind angles. 
So you're not going to be able to play too statically. You'll need to kind of change the way you go for that hook shot according to your wind. So good luck there, and I'll catch you guys next time.